Hi there everyone, it's Yakko here. I'd like to talk to you about something that happened to me a couple of years back when I was creating this survival knife and the thing was that I was uh, uh, exporting this to 3ds Max. I did some baking to this and this is basically all quads and all triangles. So there was one um, there was one quad in here which kept sort of uh, acting up on me and I can kind of show you that whenever I I was dealing with this in uh, 3ds Max, uh, for some reason this one quad kept flipping, like uh, I never got it, either it was this or this, and I couldn't get it to work, it just absolutely didn't work for me, and then I wondered why is this happening, and now I'm sure that you guys who are used to 3D modeling and, and who have studied uh, basic geometry in a mathematics class will tell me that yeah, yeah you know, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway because uh, maybe all of you it isn't so obvious. So I'm gonna go to um, maybe this red shade so we can see the wireframe. So you can see that um, there is well this guy here. So what's wrong with this? This is not a end gone. This is quad. You can see one, two, three, four. This is a quad. It has um, four points in it and four sides. It's four-sided polygon. So it's quad. So what's wrong with this? Uh, and actually I had it this going like this so that I just some reason kind of sort of forgot because you know when we are busy modeling and we have to we have deadline we, we have to get the model done and it, we have to get it exported to the game engine so so we are sort of uh, busy and we don't know so everything is quad and everything is trees and it works in in uh, Lightwave it works in Maya but in 3ds Max it acts up so what's going on? So to get to this topic, I kind of have, want to show you something. So, so as you can see, well, these are just the basic uh, polygons in here, or n-gons in here, and then we've got a bunch of a uh, quad triangle and quad quad and quad, right? And then we can see we have n-gon in here, n-gon in here, n-gon in here. We have a quad in here, then we have another uh, quad in here, quad in here. These are quads basically. So uh, what we can understand from this is that concave polygons sort of cave in if you say so that for example this is uh, concave but now it became uh, convex. Again this is concave, this is convex. This guy over here is convex but now it became concave. And now when you look what happens, this normal is flipping. The face is facing now another direction, right? Now it's facing this direction. So. This is due to how Open, OpenGL um, interprets this. So, what I we have in the knife model? What, what was happening in there? I'm gonna show to you guys. So, so basically, we know uh, the and the 3D mo uh, 3D render application knows about this stuff, of course. So, so if you deal with n-gons or if you deal with this kind of weird weirdness, um, somehow in Lightwave, uh, you can still kind of sort of use this. It's because the render application will know. That what's going on but but what about this guy it looks like a triangle and we know triangle can't be concave right but look at this actually it is not a triangle this is a quad and this is a quad shape like triangle and it seems to me that 3d programs have sometimes trouble with dealing with quads which are shaped like triangles because that it's in the edge it's between convex and concave it, it's uh, there's no way telling which is gonna be Max didn't know what to heck to do with this. This is a uh, weirdness. So of course what I was doing is that I just added a line there converting this quad into two triangles. So so this effectively fixed the problem. It works everywhere. There's no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to show you one more example of what can happen if you deal with concave polygons in for example in Lightwave. So as you can see this is a extreme uh, extreme concaveness in here. We have see this shape is going in there. But when we have like this weird shading artifact in here, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, this isn't correct uh, by all means. One way to fix uh, concave polygons is of course to turn them to triangles. So as you can see, I hit uh, Shift T and it con converted to triangles. So now it works. There's no problem. Artifact is completely gone. But um, I can also show you one thing that sort of like in OpenGL we have this kind of a sort of like a, I suppose like a threshold that if we move move these guys around we can sometimes get it to work and sometimes the artifact appears again as you can see we are like experimenting here and it's at this point there's this artifact so 
So basically, light wave it might be that, uh, for example, that this this guy is rendered so that um, it's, the face is facing this direction. But it might be that if you bring this another application, it's gonna render the other way. So this is like um, I don't need, I don't think there's any kind of like a guideline which whichever. So so in these cases when you need to do shape like this, uh, I recommend really uh, just putting a line in there because now when we put the line in there, it's gonna work otherwise. It's there's not gonna be any any sort of a problem. So I hope you enjoyed this little thing in here, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.